crafting journey with Rebecca. Welcome to my premiere. I have something really, really special that I have been waiting for months to show you. I encouraged everyone last week to hold off buying Alice in Wonderland because I have here Treasure Studios Arts, Anthony Christo's Alice in Wonderland. Oh my God. So it came to me, DHL, I've already opened it because I had another painting in here as well. So uh, this is a, so it came in this um, bubble wrap with the other painting. It's quite a large painting. It's 70 by 100. I'm filming in a very unusual place in my house and the dogs are like, what is she doing? Oh my gosh. So here is the condition of the box. So I, I actually got this one other time and we had to hold off because everything was, the canvas was so damaged. But, um, so the box, uh, it's pretty worn out. <laughs> But let's see what we got inside. Okay. This is the canvas. Oh my God, it's huge. And it is wrapped around the diamonds. There is our toolkit. So just in case you've never seen a Treasure Studios Arts toolkit, let's take a look. It's actually one of my favorites. It comes in this pink organza bag. So like, you know, we're, right off the bat, we're, we're in good shape because it's pink. Woohoo! Thank you guys for coming to this premiere. I so, so, so appreciate this. Rachel from Treasure Studios Arts really appreciates your support. Oh, there's my co-host right there, Jake. He's got to be in the... <laughs> If I don't get him a haircut soon, he's looking at me like, hi, mom, are you talking to me? <laughs> okay, so we have the boat with the funnel. We've got some placers. Oop, I just dropped it. Of course, of course. So the organza bag is branded Treasure Studios Art. All right, boat with the funnel. We've got a pen with... Um, what is it? I'm blind. It doesn't matter. I won't use that. It's a wide tip. I like, I prefer the thin tips. Um, so you've got the squishy to put around the pen for your comfort. Pink tweezers. Oh my God. I love my pink tweezers. Oh, the tip thing broke, but that's okay. Cause these are blunt, which is good. And then we've got a couple of waxes and a three placer and a four placer. So let's put all this back in here because we're gonna need every bit of this table to show you this canvas. I am not kidding. This is the most gorgeous painting you have ever seen. It is big. I have got it in square, so <laughs> this is gonna be quite the project. It's huge. So let's see if we, I'm gonna go away from the camera. We're gonna see if we can get this thing spread out. Wait till you see this. It is so beautiful. So beautiful. I even measured the table just to make sure I would have enough room for this canvas. Two bags of drills, guys. Holy moly, look at this. So this is sort of the adult version of Alice in Wonderland. So, but <laughs> you can't see it. I say, I can't see it, guys. Look how gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna go up. Look how beautiful. Yes. So if you look closely, you, you know, you've got these beautiful pink plants here. There's stuff hidden in here. Let me show you. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Up here is the Cheshire Cat right there. 
these beautiful blooms. There's a butterfly there. I don't see the worm, although I, uh, Absalom, is that his name, Absalom? I suspect he's in here somewhere. Wow, this is so beautiful, guys. Um, it is going up on the site as we speak. It will be for sale. Please feel free to use my affiliate discount code, Rebecca15, if you want to get this at a discount. This is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. Oh, I, I can't wait to start. However, I have so many things ahead of this. So this is 45 colors. So you've got here, you've got a schematic on the right side and you've got a schematic on the left side, which is awesome with these big paintings. So the canvas is branded on the bottom. You will see the information of how to contact Treasure Studios Arts. They are on Instagram, Pinterest. Now let me show you the top part here. So Treasure Studios Art, branded. Here is the thumbnail. So gorgeous. Alice in Wonderland. So here are the symbols. Oh look, a daisy. Nice. Oh, wow. I'm gonna, <laughs> I gotta go to Harbor Freight. <laughs> I need more Harbor Freight containers. Oh, wow. Oh, I am just blown away with this canvas. Just blown away. So, and it is in perfect, perfect condition. Um, let me show you the symbols. I'm gonna pick an area where there's quite a few symbols. This is mounted adhesive uh, that Treasure Studios Arts uses. Uh, they don't use double-sided adhesive. They don't use port glues. It's mounted adhesive. Um, it's made so that your canvas won't yellow in the future. I can't get this plastic. Oh my goodness, hold on. And they, their plastic that goes over the canvas is like this thick, plastic which is really awesome all right so yeah there is the mounted um and with this mounted adhesive you can feel free to roll it which i'm going to have to do while we're working on it oh those symbols are beautiful and nice and clear okay let's put that back out here let's put that back down so like I said, with this, you can feel free to roll it and you're not gonna have any issues like you would have with a double-sided adhesive. Um, it's very similar to the poured glue. Uh, just make sure that you roll it diamonds outward. As you're working on it, make sure the diamonds are rolled outward. So we've got two packages of drills. So this is all kitted up and ready to go. If you like working out of baggies, which I do not. So we are not going to use these baggies. We're gonna get some Harbor Freights. And sorry for the coring folding. I wanted to show you, it does come with an inventory sheet. I do apologize that it is still in black and white. Hopefully that is gonna change soon. So we have, uh, the schematic, so you can run this through your Xyron sticker maker. You've got the black and white photo. So what I do is with my Harbor Freights is I'll cut this photo out, paste it on the cover. Uh, because I'm going to obviously need more than one Harbor Freight, I'll take this part and cut it out and put it on the second Harbor Freight. So it has three columns, the number for the canvas, the symbol and the DMC code, and then the amount of diamonds. So what I do is I just kind of um, use the symbol and the DMC 
because this is so wide and will not fit through the Xyron sticker maker. So I just use uh, this part of it because I go by symbol anyway. So the dogs are very happy they've had dinner. I'm gonna put on a little music here while I take a look at the drills. So are you seeing what I'm seeing? Oh yeah. <laughs> Bing. Look, 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 look. Gorgeous. Yes, very beautiful. And look at this. Holy moly, who does not love 996? A whole bag full. Then up here, the predominant colors here, we've got, these are the background colors. We've got a huge bag of 823, 939, and 310. So it looks like 939 wins. So on these bags, you will have the DMC code and the weight of the diamonds. Um, so I, there's no symbol on here or, uh, and I work by symbols, which is one of the reasons I do kit it up. The other reason is I'm afraid I'm gonna spill these diamonds all over the place from these baggies. So look at these other colors. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna show every single one, but holy moly. This is 917, the red. Now there are no ABs. You don't get ABs in a Treasure Studios painting, but you can order sparklers for squares, um, and that will fit in here. I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, you could do that. Look at this. But I'm telling you, with the diamond quality that you get with Treasure Studios Arch, you do not need to bling the painting because it is so gorgeous on its own merits. It really is. Look at that. So, of course, I'm loving the pink. So, uh, all of the diamonds are here. Um, I have checked it against the inventory sheet. And I will start this as soon as I can. Okay, I have Alice on the light pad. I thought I'd lay down a few drills while we chit chat in the premiere. Um, like I said, these are squares and these are the new squares. They have been um, corrected. There was an issue with squares. Um, the chart has completely been redone uh, with each little square uh, decreased by 0 0.1 millimeters. So you're not gonna see the gapping that you would see uh, or that I was seeing uh, before. But I, and I have laid some down on my other painting and, and I'm very pleased with the result. So I thought I would start here. What I've done is I've sectioned some of it off. It's a huge painting and I was running out of washi tape, so. We're just going to give this a little start here. Um, I, I don't know why I start here in the upper left corner, but I do. Oh my gosh, I am so happy with these squares. They are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Really, really beautiful, guys. I hope that you are enjoying this premiere. Uh, that you have a chance to chat with Rachel um, to answer any questions that you may have about uh, this artist or any other artist. This is Anthony Christou. 
Oh my gosh, these diamonds are so nice. A little glue there. I just want to do this little bit, this little corner, so that I can reassure you um, how nice the squares are now. Um, and I, <laughs> for all of you single placers out there, yes, I am single placing it. I don't like to multi-place squares unless I'm really sure, you know, I'm confident um, that there's not going to be any gapping. Um, so that's how I do it. Now, this painting, um, I have, I am doing it in 70 by 100. So it is available in 70 by 100. It's also available in a smaller version, although, um, and Rachel can tell you what that size is. I don't really have it in front of me. However, I, I, need, I feel like I need to warn you that you are not going to get the detail that you would get um, with the 70 by 100. But you guys know that, you know, you're smart. You know, the larger the painting, the more detail you're going to get. And, um, and you also know I'm not afraid of large paintings. I, you know, I've, I've done a few. Now, where am I going to put this in my house? I have no idea. <laughs> but, yeah. As you guys know, I am a huge, huge Alice in Wonderland fan. Um, not necessarily the book, but the artwork just speaks to me. Um, the cat, the worm, Absalom. Um, the, you know, there's just so much you could do, so much artwork you could do. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can multi-place here. See how that turns out. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, my goodness. Although, the glue is coming out of my tip here. I just loaded it before we sat down. Now, I have not kitted up this entire painting yet. I um, got out three colors just to do this corner so that I could show you guys how gorgeous this is um, so there's like three variations of blue that I'm doing right now and uh, but the color in this painting is I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to start over on the pink you know I did but I resisted I don't like to start in the middle of a painting My, um, my drafting table is like squeaking. I need to like tighten everything up on this drafting table. Goodness. Or just with me, it's like tighten it up or get a new one. Uh, you know what I'll do <laughs> next time my son comes over? I'm just going to have him take a look at it. He's pretty handy. These are so nice. Wow, that is really, really squeaking. <laughs> Sorry. And I'm not doing a lot of chatter because I know you guys are talking in chat. Uh, I know you may even be on the website as we talk, ordering. There goes the ambulances. Every time I want to film, there's an ambulance that goes by. For God's sakes. Don't they know how important this is? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's all about me. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you guys here on a Friday night. You know, with quarantine, I, I, I'm not scared to do anything on Friday night because I know people are just not going out, out. Um, 
it's just not feasible you know we're trying to stay safe and the more people go out the more the, i think the greater the chance that you know this thing is just going to last forever so guys stay home diamond paint craft you know do what you do best keep the kids home i can't the grandkids they think nothing is going on they're like oh going skateboarding going to go play baseball you know nothing phases them they're so resilient but until they get sick you know and I went over their house the other day. My grandson sat down next to me. You know, and they're giving me hugs like they always do. And I'm like, guys, have you been social distancing? No. I'm like, then get away from me. <laughs> of course, they knew I was kidding because I love them to death and I don't care. I would hug them anyway because they're my grandkids. But it does concern me because I know like my grand, one grandson, Kyle, there is um, a child on his baseball team now that's been positive so I don't know that he's ill but he is quarantined wow these are really really nice but I think single placing them probably is the way to go I think if you're going to multi-place on these squares you might see a little gapping but I think uh, if you're single placing them, you're fine. And who knows, maybe once I get used to the these diamonds, I'll, I'll get more comfortable with multi-placing them. Squares are kind of tricky. Just want to make sure I'm doing the right color, the right symbols here. I was going to kit up the entire kit, but I couldn't find my Xyron sticker maker. I told you guys cleaning the craft room was a horrible idea because now I can't find anything. Not a thing. Every time I go to look for something, it's not where I thought it should be. It's somewhere else. You know, when I find it. No, so God knows where I'm going to find that Xyron sticker maker. Now, I want to say last time I kitted something up, it was in another room. It was probably in my bedroom. Um, sometimes I do that while I'm watching TV at night. Um, but I did go in there and I looked and I didn't see it, but it's, it's somewhere. So here is the corner. Look how pretty. All right, I want to get that closer to you so you can take a look at the drills. All right. Let's, uh, what I've done here is I have rolled up the, the extra canvas because um, it's just not manageable. <laughs> We're going to turn the light pad off. Look at the squares. Look at the color. Let me get that in there for you. Focus, come on. There we go. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. Uh, I can't wait to do this whole thing. It's going to take me um, a hot minute. <laughs> a very hot minute. So we'll be right back. Oh, I want to start it like right now. I want to kit it up. I want to do it. Guys, what do you think about this painting? Do you like it? Uh, you know, let me know. Let Rachel know. Please, it is now up for sale on the website, use my link below to go to Treasure Studios Art and feel free to use the affiliate code if you want to order. Um, that affiliate code is good off your entire order if you want to order more than one painting. But this, guys, is awesome. I'm going to put these away because this is not getting fitted up for a while. The, the only... You know, I wish that these bags, because, you know, when you don't uh, kit up right away, I like to have the kit number or some sort of identification on the bag uh, so that I know, you know, because I store my drills separately from the canvas. So what I do is I just, I put some kind of piece of paper in there so that I know 
which drills these are, but these are not gonna go far because this painting is gonna get done fairly soon, I can assure you. Because, wow, it is stunning. So I didn't put these in here as nice as they came. One more bag. I just want to pick all these up so you can get another look at this beautiful canvas. Okay, two bags of drills. Actually, I'm going to put the... this sheet in here so that we know which one it is. Gorgeous. I'm going to take the camera off and see if we can go down to the canvas. Okay. We just want to look at the canvas. Look how beautiful. Look how gorgeous that blonde hair. She's got a bow in her hair. So gorgeous. I love the sort of the little abstract Cheshire cat there. There's kind of a face in that bloom. Isn't that cool? Now there's a little, a little butterfly there. Oh, look, she's got her knee socks on and her little Mary Jane shoes. So, so cute. It's a big one, guys, but holy moly, it's gorgeous. So the sun is setting, so the lighting is changing, so I'm gonna wrap this up, guys. Thank you all for coming on this journey with me, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.